Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we are looking at the Gigabyte GM M6900 Precision Optical Gaming Mouse. This isn't an expensive one, this simply is a budget gaming mouse. The box is fairly small and once again this is the Gigabyte GM M6900 Gaming Mouse. On the box itself even is a nice picture of it. On the back there are some details on what the different buttons do and so on. We will get to that in a moment. But let's open this box up and see what's inside. There we go. Inside is a hard plastic case and I have to say that's very rare to see, although it's not exactly what I would like to see in terms of the environment. Now let's open this case up so we get to the mouse. And there it is. The mouse well protected and secured even with some form. But let's get the mouse out of there. So here it is now. Right away I have to admit, for the price it looks very nice, but the construction itself looks very plasticky. Now let's get into detail. As always the USB 2.0 interface is used and a very standard cable is used, nothing special here. Alright, but now I'll show you the mouse from different angles. One thing that immediately caught my eye was the rubber grip on the mouse and believe it or not, it's very durable. Same thing on the other side, there's also a rubber grip, but a not so big one since it's not needed there. The price is low, but the weight is somewhere in the middle. It's not lightweight as well as not heavy, I guess it's the sweet spot for most gamers. I have to admit clicking doesn't even feel bad, because on very cheap mice I often feel there's no quality behind them in terms of clicking. Therefore you can't click as much with such mice, but this M6900 is different. You can feel it isn't high quality, but a lot better than cheaper mice. A very nice rubber scrolling wheel is used and it feels very responsive and durable. But this isn't just a regular scrolling wheel. It's four directional. This means you can scroll up and down as well as left and right. So this basically is the tilt option. These plus and minus buttons here are for the DPI settings. The LEDs will indicate at which DPI preset the mouse is set at. The plus will increase the DPI and the minus button obviously will decrease the DPI number. On the left side of the mouse are the two standard back and forward buttons, but to be honest, these feel very cheap, but that doesn't really matter. On the bottom you see, there are four pads here, which should allow smooth movements. However, it's not a laser sensor we're talking about here today. No, instead, this mouse uses the older optical tracking system. Once the mouse is plugged in, it will light up red and as said before, the LEDs will indicate at which DPI preset the mouse is currently running at. And since an optical sensor is used, there's the red light on the bottom. But now let's move on to the specifications. The Gigabyte GM M6900 Precision Gaming Mouse comes in a single color and that would be the metal black one. The USB interface is used and an optical tracking system is used and this mouse comes with 5 buttons with a 4 directional scrolling wheel. The maximum DPI is 3200 DPI and the response time would be 1000 Hz. Last but not least, according to Gigabyte, this mouse should have a 5 million clicks switch life. This gaming mouse also comes with some kind of control software named Gigabyte Force. I'm really really impressed that you can customize so many things for the price actually. Pretty much all the buttons on the mouse are customizable. Also you can also customize the DPI presets of the mouse. You have 3 DPI presets and you can set up a custom DPI number for every preset. Therefore you can go to a specific DPI setting on the fly by just pressing the plus or minus buttons on the mouse. I'm very impressed here, it pretty much has the same features as the very expensive gaming mice have. 
Of course, you can't expect to see very high DPI numbers, macros and so on. But for the price, this M6900 outperforms the more professional gaming mice. So the Gigabyte GM M6900 Precision Optical Gaming Mouse is a very very good choice for the budget gamer. As of so many mice that I've had in the past, this M6900 is fantastic for gaming, video editing, basically for everything. For instance, it's a lot better than the Corsair M65 gaming mouse in terms of the feel. The quality of course isn't as good as on the expensive mice, but the price also is very low compared to these. The overall build quality of these switches is not bad at all. I really like the rubber grip and as advertised by Gigabyte, you really have full control over your mouse. The construction however feels a bit too plasticky, but it's okay. It's more important to focus on the performance than on the rest when it comes to such price points. The 4-directional scrolling wheel is another thing I really like and that's even fairly rare on the expensive mice. With the Gigabyte 4 software you can customize really a lot. You can assign options to the buttons as well as even set up custom DPI numbers for the DPI presets. Switching between these also is very easy and is simply done by just pressing the plus or the minus buttons on the mouse. So yeah, overall I'd call this a premium gaming mouse for a fairly low price. Gigabyte did a fantastic job. I'm very satisfied with it. Pros are outstanding price performance ratio, it's very responsive, has a great rubber grip, a 4 directional scrolling wheel and this mouse also comes with very good customization options. For the cons I can only say one thing, it feels plasticky, but that's all. I give this gaming mouse a 9 out of 10 and would definitely recommend this mouse. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.